right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the back stretch at the Skagit Speedway, and this is night number two of three for their World of Outlaws weekend uh, invading the Pacific Northwest at this track. Wanted to welcome you back to today's video. Uh, man, am I pumped to continue our weekend. Started off on the right foot yesterday with a top five uh, in the Shark Racing number one T with the Outlaws. Car had really good speed. We actually had what was looking like maybe gonna be a perfect night. You know, win, you know, quick time in qualifying, winning our heat, winning the dash, and then did drop back a little bit from the pole in the feature. But still an excellent run for our team. So the goal is to back that up again today. Looking at the racing surface, that was kind of the talk of the pit area uh, yesterday. Really rough and choppy track. With the weather that we've had here the past couple of days and some other factors, let's just say it made for an interesting show. So they're working extremely hard to try to get us something a little bit better for this afternoon's run. But here soon, gonna get uh, in our cars all suited up, get fired up for some engine heat, and then we'll ride into hot laps and qualifying. Now you gotta remember with the outlaw format being completely straight up off your time trial, you gotta lay down a good time to start farther up front and try to get the uh, results that we want to achieve. Well, not an ideal start to the night for the 1T. Went out super late in qualifying and that hurt us. Uh, we were a 29th car out and the racetrack probably slowed down anywhere from half a second all the way up to seven or eight tenths off. Quick time was gravel, he was an 11.7. I think we ended up being a 12.5 and a lot of the cars we went out around were in that ballpark range of 12.3, 12.4, 12.5, 12.6. .12 so it just uh, sucks that it didn't, you know, the track did not hold moisture. There wasn't even really a lot to begin with. I think after yesterday, they were trying to make sure it didn't get heavy and rough again and stay fast and kind of towards the bottom. So now it's almost like ice all the way from bottom to top and there's not really anything to lean on on both ends. Uh, you're just kind of out there trying to stay stable, use your right front for, or right front, use your right foot for some throttle control and um, you know, hope that your car is good enough and has drive and right now it's just a lot about you know, being smooth. So we ended up 26th, that really sucks. My guys are going to work on making some changes. I, like I said, I don't think we were bad for when we went out, what our conditions were, what the circumstances ended up being, but still gonna try to be better as now we're gonna have to come from the back of a heat race, only the top five transfer, and we gotta get uh, basically going from the drop of the green, green flag and make progress. <laughs>
Well, started uh, seventh there in that heat race. And for a second, I thought we were gonna, you know, maybe transfer, got a good start through one and two, rolled through the whole first lap. And then from there, I just wasn't able to capitalize on, you know, kind of that, that initial momentum. I thought once I got into sixth, I was gonna maybe, you know, be able to start running forward, but I just got screwing around. We, we just got racing hard. And then, you know, once guys start spreading out on a racetrack like this and just 410 wing sprint car racing, heat race action in general, uh, once you start spreading out, you lose that ground, you're racing hard with guys around you, it's hard to make it up. So we just ended up getting battling so hard for sixth that fourth and fifth got away, which also what, what is, you know, a little frustrating about it is I didn't get a chance to fuel my car all the way because I just didn't get to make, you know, some really solid laps. I actually felt okay, um, you know, in the racetrack. It is just bone slick bottom to top. You know, as much as it was unfortunate for qualifying, I feel like it actually doesn't race too bad. We'll kind of see what they do throughout the night, but long story short, um, we have a B-Main event up next and we're making some changes to the 1T to get through that. I'll let you guys know where I start, but I think we're gonna be somewhere around, you know, the second or third row and they're only gonna be transferring the top four. So like I predicted, we are gonna be rolling off from the second row outside starting position here for 12 laps in the B, right next to my teammate, Logan Schuhart. I think the main goal is just to get going and try to at least advance one spot from fourth. I'm not saying you're safe in any position, but you know when you're on that cutoff, kind of on the bubble, uh, things can get a little gnarly. So try to get in the top three, try to get in the top two, just make some consistent laps to kind of learn for this feature coming up. Racetrack's very similar, really slick, not a lot of grip. We're continuing to make changes on the 1T to be better and uh, get as much drive as we can. Don't even know why I'm putting tear-offs on because I, I don't really think I'm gonna need them. But you just gotta be prepared for any circumstance. Little sigh of relief that we snuck in the show. It was a slow start to the night. You know, maybe a couple things maybe we could have done better, but you know, uh, a lot of it's just pill draw and you know, how, how things kind of roll sometimes on the tour. But uh, shark racing as a whole, we definitely powered through and got through the B. Felt good, started fourth, finished second. So we're gonna be rolling off now from 22nd in the feature. Looks like they might do a little bit of track prep. So maybe there will be some grip, um, I think around the top and bottom, but just gonna have to see as they're about to head out now. And we're just got a quick turnaround for our 30 lap feature. So uh, excited to see what we can do. Definitely have a shot at hard charger tonight. If we can get moving early, I think we can get by some cars.
Well, another night complete here at the Skagit Speedway with the World of Outlaws and the greatest show on dirt. Nothing crazy stellar to talk about for the 1T. Started 22nd there for 30 laps and ended up finishing 17th. So by no means a hard charger run. Kind of disappointed with our night in general. And sometimes you're just gonna have that on the tour and racing with the Outlaws. You know, for us, we kind of got set back with that pill draw. And from there, the rest of our, a, or the rest of our night was an uphill battle. And really not a lot we could do about that. You know, once you once you get behind in qualifying, it's just so hard to come through when everyone is so fast. But I will say hats off to, you know, Skagit Speedway track prep crew. You know, the, the, the surface for qualifying was unfortunate because it fell off so much. But as far as how slick it was and wide and not really like a cushion or a curb, like kind of crumbly up top, slick in the middle and a little bit of grip on the berm. Like there was multiple lanes of racing and I felt like it put on a good show. Really proud of everyone at Shark Racing. Got behind the eight ball early tonight, but they really gave me a better car every time I got on track. In the feature, I think if we had some more track position, I think we would have ran farther up front. My first 20 laps were good. I moved forward, kind of made the bottom work, made the top work, moved around and consistently had speed. I just probably as a driver fell apart a little bit the last 10 laps. I started getting getting better, getting better, moving forward. And then I kind of started moving around, trying stuff, trying to find that little extra. And I think I just made a couple poor laps and a couple guys started uh, attacking me. And then I you know, had my hands full and then gave up a couple spots. So that sucks, but like I said, nothing life changing. I think it was the difference in running 14th and 17th. So is what it is. Another night in the books with Shark Racing. Can't thank them enough. And Bobby Allen, it's been really fun racing with him. Also have to mention Pell's Tire Service, DMI, Smith Titanium, and we also have Low E. Really appreciate that those guys support the car, support the program, and make it all happen. And I've been saying it, but looking forward to the rest of the 2023 season because I really got great people around me, and I think we're going to get closer to victory lane. All right, see you all in the next one. Peace.